one of the important key in the motor recovery following stroke is to understand that it is important for a muscle to first learn how to control the activation in the isometric and eccentric manner rather than focusing the rehab totally on the concentric motor activity. Like in this particular demonstration of the exercise, we are going to demonstrate how we can develop the hip knee control in hemiplegic patient. Now here again the challenge is that the patient has uncontrolled hip and knee extensor activation. So here we are going to make the patient learn how to control the hip and knee extensor activation rather than how to learn to flex the hip and knee. And this is the commonest mistake that we as young physios often make while retraining motor control in our patient. So the preparation of the exercise is going to be, let's say the right side is weak. So the therapist is going to passively take the hip and knee into the flexion range and slightly dorsiflexing at the level of ankle. We are going to ask the patient, okay, very slowly try to extend your leg, but you should not push into my hand. And this movement has to be slow. At the same time, do not let your leg to adduct and internally rotate. So normally what happens is the patient initiates and the rest of the movement is carried out by the spasticity. So here we are encouraging the patient to just try and hold this position first and without pushing me into my hand, try to extend your leg but slowly, but slowly and stop. And then again, learn the second thing that is to stop whenever he or she wants. The same exercise of controlling extension through range can be carried out with the heel placed over the couch and the ankle passively dorsiflexed by the therapist. So now again, I want you to first hold this position and don't let your knee extend. Hold, hold, hold. Now just try to slide your heel down and extend your knee and stop. Very good. Now extend your knee further and stop. So here we are trying to develop the eccentric control from the hip flexors to gain control over the extensor tone in the lower limb. Rather than asking the patient bend your knee, bend your knee, which is quite frustrating and not possible for the patient. Do stay tuned with Physio Classroom channel and watch our 50 plus videos on hemiplegia rehabilitation. And if you have not yet subscribed to the premium membership, do so because you are missing on a lot of information. See you all in our next video. Till then, keep learning, keep sharing and stay connected.